Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Friday the 6th of July. I take the just one of our signals from our over 100 signals a day that we send to our members on downloadable spreadsheets. Uh, today I'm going to look at long fifth wave trades but our members also get, look, get to look at short fifth wave trades, uh, stochastic long trades and stochastic short trades. Uh, on the fifth wave trades they are downloadable spreadsheets here for weekly, daily and 60 minute time frames every single day and our members simply click on the image download the spreadsheet as you can see here got plenty of history there with with our signals and good way to build up your watch list so let's have a look at the spreadsheet for today I've gone for potential longs on the daily time frame here probably won't trigger today but good to get them ready to get set up uh, also at the, at the bottom of the spreadsheet you'll see there's the weekly and the 60 minute tabs I've gone for MBFI down at the bottom here MB Financial Inc new uh, on the daily time frame so let's have a look at the chart now it's not a pretty chart but it's still a pretty good pullback on here so this is uh, MBFI on the daily time frame. I'm using the Ninja Trader NT8 version of the Wave 5 Trade Elliott Wave Indicator Suite here. It's also available for TradeStation, MultiCharts, and Think or Swim platforms. First of all, uh, how to isolate the bar count. So we need to isolate the lows. We've got a double bottom here, a technical double bottom. Uh, so that's within 3%, the prices of the lows are within 3% each other. So what we do is we isolate, using the Ellie Wave Indicator Suite, we isolate this second low and then our software automatically labels the Elliott Wave count. Uh, the 1, the 2, the 3 and then the Wave 4. Let's just have a quick look on the filters for the scanner membership. So the first filter is that the wave 4 pulls back into one of our probability zones. As you can see here, it's pulled back into the middle zone, the amber zone. So if it does find support and starts to move away from that support level in this zone, there's an 80% probability it's going to go on and make a new wave 5 high into our automated target zones up here in blue, around about 52.72. The second filter is the 535 oscillator down here on the middle subchart here. We have uh, the oscillator pull back between 90 and 140%. Fantastic. And then thirdly, the stochastic. Uh, the, the yellow dots denote a strong bullish uh, momentum and the stochastic is pulled back against that and crossed over in the oversold zone and it's likely to return to that main bullish momentum and go back to the overbought zone there. So they are the main filters. I just want to zoom out again here at the moment just to highlight a few things um, when we're looking for entry strategies. As you can see my entry strategy is 48.55 which is outside the 6.4 moving average high, the green moving average here. But also, when we look left, because looking left is extremely important, we're above this previous high on this, on this pivot level here, and we're above all of these highs here. So very important when you're looking for entry strategies for these swing trades, is that you look left and you look for previous decision points, pre previous prices where institutional traders have made decisions and it's turned back down. So we want to be above there. So recently we've had uh, the gap up, uh, which has uh, contributed to this big move, and then we've had the the wave four pullback. So now again we just look at this entry uh, closer in detail. So remember we looked left and we're above that pivot point. Also we're outside of the six four moving average high for Fridays. Um, bar position but also definitely for Mondays. So 48.55 is the entry. The stop loss is always below the low point of the wave 4. So in this case it's around 56.47. And then the target level for us here, we've got a 1 to 2 risk to reward into our target zone here, 52.72 right in the middle there. So great risk to reward. Reasonably simple entry there. Ugly looking chart but we've had a big move and that big move has included a, a gap most likely on earnings uh, and then we've pulled back against there on some profit taking and now we're ready to uh, resume that main bullish momentum if we can get above 48.55. So that's it for today, have a great trading day and a great weekend and I'll speak to you all on Monday.